Uh, here's a few bad words uh, about Kanye West, which we don't hear very often, especially in the hip hop community. But uh, none, none other than DJ Quick went off on Kanye this morning and said some things. Now, you know, DJ Quick is out promoting his own album, his own uh, new music. And I guess that he was asked about Kanye's new album. Uh, he did not have anything pleasant to say. So his celebrity supersedes his talent right now. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Come on, he's a Kardashian, you know. Oh, yo, what are you going to do? Beat me up? <laughs> it's Kanye. <laughs> See, this, this, is, this, is, this is a challenge. This ain't a diss. This is a challenge. Make your best music because fans aren't stupid. They're just not. That's true. I mean, I, maybe his head's not all the way in the music right now. Maybe his head is all the way up in Kim Kardashian's vagina. What the? So hold on, let's find out. Well, I want I really want to know if there's some something other than that, because even if DJ Quick thinks that, the fact that he would say it, um, I don't know where that comes from. So let's find out. Quick joins us right now. Quick, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. Man. So what's behind this uh, this public lashing of, of Kanye West and his talent, or lack thereof, as you put it? Well, this, I, I wouldn't say it's a lack thereof talent. This, this is just a challenge. Like this is the music business. We do music, and we love good music, and just lately, like you know. His music hasn't been like my fire, and I'm a fan. It's a crazy thing. And the the way the last album came out, and how I had to search for it, and how I had to buy a subscription, and get it, and when I finally listened to it, it was like, you know, you gotta like my fire. You know what I mean? Just if you want to respect a a real producer. Are are you saying that you don't like the marketing of it, or you don't like the music? You can't like everything. I'll I'll be a hypocrite if I just say I like everything. It's just, I I expected something better with all the hype that was behind it, right? I just expected something better. I'm a DJ, I still play records in the club. I just rock in New York. I just rock you know, Shadow, Ohio on the turntable. I still need to be able to play this stuff. Do you think there's going to be any, I mean, I, I, look, I, I don't think that you're alone. There are probably a lot of people who feel that way, but we don't hear them say it that often. You don't think there's any backlash? Hey, whatever the backlash is, I'm just being honest. I have to be true to myself. You know, I'm still racist, so I still do what I do. We got a record that's on number two on iTunes right now, number two control across the chart. And it's not even about Kanye. Just the, the, the DJ that brought that up his name is Noah Ayala. He's kind of like a, you know, he wanted the DJ like DJ Vlad is. Like, he loved controversy. So, you know, it was like he baited me and I bit. It's like, you know, I went to Ayala and it was just the real thing. I, 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 can't, I can't lie to you. I didn't find other ways. Hey, hey, quick, you know, we're, we're about out of time, but I gotta ask you, are you saying that the Kardashians have ruined Kanye? No, that's not, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying that I bought into the Kanye brand when it first came out. Like, I, I lived in New York when, when you know, the college dropout came out. And I was with that movement. I was working with Jay-Z at that point. You know, it's just like, it's such a departure just seeing that his music is not going back to what made him. It's almost like, you know. Yeah, but, but uh, I, I gotta stop you, though, because you, what you said was his celebrity supersedes his talent right now, and that goes right back to the Kardashians. So it sounds like you really are kind of saying that he's gone to the Aronite. Which is an ironic way of putting it. <laughs> <Anyway. laughs> Come on, you make it bigger than it is. I'm just saying this is a challenge. It's not a diss. I just, you know, I'm, I'm still one of the top three producers. And you know, every time I, you know, I met Kanye, it was kind of a little, you know, like a little tension, you know. So, so you think maybe if you could get in the studio with him, you could get him back on on track? No, I think I think that he needs to just trust his his co-producers and all that. It's just make another banger. That's it. Just this business. I ain't buying shit like that. That's just this man's thing. Y'all, problem. We got a record out. Rosecrans EP right now. Number two on the charts. Let's make it number one. Come on, we're gonna turn it up. Charles, that's making up blood. All right, <laughs> All right man. Well, well, good luck. We'll see what the backlash is. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna check out. I heard Rosecrans came out this morning. I haven't heard it yet. Happy 420. <laughs> Thank you, man. 420, small time. <laughs> okay, uh, what do you say we break? Yes, when we come back, uh, Nick Young comes home to Iggy Azalea. They're still living together.